Facebook just released that number, and damn, the stock tanked pretty good, over 20%. <laughs> At first, I was very excited that, hey, Facebook's on a discount, a massive discount memory. It was almost a trillion dollar company. But when I dig into the numbers a little bit, I'm like, oh man, this is not, per not good. Okay, so let me show you guys a quick highlight of the earnings based on the CNBC article. I thought it was pretty interesting to make this quick video because I do have a pretty good position on Facebook across most of my accounts. So this is the highlight for Facebook, right? Plunged more than 20% due to weak earnings. So earnings was, from my opinion, it was okay. Re uh, EPS missed by almost 5%. Revenue is pretty much in line where it's as expected. But I think this is where ultimately decided the sell-off was right here, where this statement right here, this is not good. Uh, re analysts expecting 15% growth year over year, but Facebook announced 3 to 11% year over year growth. That's not good at all. So I think that's the primary reason why Facebook took a massive plunge during the after hours of trading. So for those who don't know, I have a lot of Facebook shares on my main account and my trading account and my long term, pretty much all my account has Facebook in it. And it's either number top five position on my all across my account, obviously, right? Because I'm very bullish on Facebook. But this is not the first, this is not the first time where I experienced Facebook tank more than 20% on one day. So let me go back a little bit of history right here. So my, I bought my very, very first Facebook shares back in 2015 when it was around $80 a share-ish around this time right here. Now, if you notice here, so let me go back again, all about this is just price action wise. And this is why you need to have a plan and have an idea. You know, these, this stuff can happen, right? Don't, the worst thing, the worst thing you can do is panic sell, which I have done in the past and that's why I don't want to do it again. So you can see a Facebook right here, this is about 2015. So you can see how it went from almost 100 bucks, like the highs right here, uh, the high, right? Almost 100, 99, 98, and then tank all the way down to low 70. That's over 26, 20, almost 30% tank right here during this time frame. And this is where I start scooping up some share on the $88 range when it, on the rebound. Of course, I was in and out, in and out, you know, trading and investing at that time. Now let me zoom, zoom a little bit more out on the monthly chart to see a better picture. So that was right there for my very first experience. And then also this right here, you see that? This right here is also another 30% plus tank. Same thing for here. Now this is where it gets very interesting. So I wanna show you this text message right here. So I text the group here at uh, 11, sorry, 1.11 p.m. This one, Facebook was at uh, this didn't show, but I, I can find out the price action. I said, I wonder if Facebook hits 245. Now, as a knife catcher, right, because that's my specialties for, you know, making day trade and stuff like that. You watch my day trading videos. Now, I said 245 for a reason at 111. So let's go to the time frame right here when I announced that uh, post. Unfortunately, during that time, I was, you know, away from my computer. I couldn't, you know, trade at that time. But the time is right here. So remember, this is a New York time. So that's pretty much at 4.11. So where's 4.11 at? Somewhere right here. So let me zoom in a little bit right here. The time again is right here. So 4.11 when I send a text message. So that time Facebook was at 2.65. And I said, I want to hit 2.45. There's a reason why I said that text. That's like a $20 drop, right? That's quite significant. That's over 10%. So remind again, this is the time here I, I said right there. So the reason I said 245 was easy. It's all, it's all about technicals. The guy, it's, it's just purely technical. You can see this is a monthly chart. Once in a while, if you're very lucky, you, it hits Facebook, hits this monthly 50 EMA. It hit it here one time, and it hit it here one time. Remember the analytic scandal or whatever back in uh, 18, 19? And then, of course, the corner crash, and now it back down here. That's how I projected 245. I don't just say 245 out of the blue, right? I use this moving averages, moving averages, of course, resistance support to help me project what the price action is going. Okay, so now we do know Facebook lands right here tomorrow opening. So 
as for my position, I'm down pretty good, right? Over 20% down. Am I panicking? Absolutely not, because fundamentally, Facebook is still a very good, solid company. The only, now it's a short-term hit, but you believe in the company long-term, this is a buying opportunity. I read to buy some right here, but tomorrow I'm probably not going to buy, if you watch my, again, how I catch a falling knife, or buy the best price action is, I do not like to buy on first major red day. I like to wait for a couple of weeks for that thing cool down to see if it could go in any even lower, right? I mean, the worst case scenario, can I go down to here at 177? Absolutely. And now that does happen, do not panic or freaking out. That's why when you trade or investing, you need to have a plan to the downside, not just to the upside where I go to the moon, right? That's what all most investors talk about, going to the moon, going to the moon. But how do you handle to the downside? Agreed? So let me draw some lines right here. Let's go to five years because 10 years, the hard, it's kind of hard to see the chart. So now it's closer to see. Okay. So let's draw some res resistance and support line with the moving average right here, right? Remember, this is a monthly chart. I can see 200 if it breaks below 245 because that's the next stop going to be. Ultimately, 177. So let's draw another line. Yeah, 170, 150. Now, this is like where I like to really go heavy. Um, I'm really kind of in heavy already. I have like quite quite a lot of shares, uh, <laughs> almost a thousand shares across all of my account. That's over a quarter million dollars, by the way. So yes, I, I am pretty heavy in Facebook, but I'm not freaking out because if it does tank down here, I would like to nibble with some more shares. Maybe I sell some more puts. But as for the moment, I am happy where I'm at on my position. So what I'm going to do now is, if you recall my one of my video, I made I have a put, so I have a lot of put at 3.30, collect a 15, 16 dollar premium. So that being my average cost base around 3.15, right now is at 3.250, so pretty much a 60 dollar tank, right? So what I can do is then that put option does not expire until March 18. You can go back to this video and watch what I did uh, right here. So right here, where I did my cash secure put. Remember the word keyword cash secure put. So that means I'm not on margin. So I'm not worried about margin call because if you are in margin, you'll be having margin call tomorrow. Because <laughs> it take over 20%, right? You double your loss or double your gain. So yep, I'm not on margin yet. So that I'm not worried about. So yeah, that's my plan. Uh, I'm gonna see if this thing with this support would hold for the next couple of weeks. Gonna take some time for investors and trader you know gaps what the hell just happened now if it breaks below that my next one is 200 and ultimately 150 or 160 right here this is my my really buy zone i don't think it hit down here but you never know what the stock market is going to happen right short term anything can happen because for me again for me the true int intrinsic value for facebook as of today is around 350 and above so right now it's a, such a good discount okay now that's facebook PayPal, I also in PayPal, it, it contributes 4% on my portfolio around the $200 range. Notice today it takes down to 128. So I'm also down pretty good on PayPal. Again, am I panicking? No, because only 4% on my portfolio, my main portfolio. So it's not a big dent. It does hurt a little bit, but um, not, not drastically. So let's go to the chart again. What I'm looking for for PayPal I like to buy some more if it gain down to here. That's my first, these are my, uh, the zone. I like to nibble some more shares. Oops, sorry about that. So this is the place where I like to nibble some more shares. It's right here, around this range right here. Can PayPal hit that? Because right now it's at 120. Absolutely. Guess what happened tomorrow? Uh, look like it's going to be a red day tomorrow because of Facebook. It's going to pull the whole index down across the overall market. So this is my PayPal. I like to sell some puts right here. Notice right here too, one thing uh, that I haven't uh, talked about is the stochastic. Check out the stochastic right now. It's, a, it's been the lowest ever since IPO. Let's go to max. Yeah, this is the lowest stochastic ever since IPO. So I think we are getting near the bottom. 
around this range right here if that does happen. Amazon earning is tomorrow. And again, Amazon is my number one position right now on my long-term portfolio and all across my investments. So we will see how it does. My average cost for Amazon is around 3000 on average. So I, I bought some at 3100 3200 even 2800 So again, Amazon is one that stock I've been in and out for a very long time. So I'm very familiar with Amazon and Facebook price action. But I would not be surprised if Amazon tanked tomorrow. Again, this is a monthly chart. These right here are pretty much the key, the key level I'm watching right here. I think the buy zone for Amazon is very obvious. I don't know if that or not. Again, I like to talk about downside more than upside because I like to talk about risk management, not just, oh, it's going to the moon, you know what I mean? But what happens if the stock goes against you? You need to have an exit strategy or a plan or how to approach this way you don't panic sell because that's the worst thing you can do because all these stocks has very strong fundamental hence the word fundamental so this right here was the ultimate buy zone if Amazon ever break below 2000 I don't know if it will or not but we will see because Amazon has not hit this this line right here you see the green line I'm highlighting since I don't know back in 2009 I think way back over here see yeah back in the the recession where I start to hit the green line because after that I keep bouncing off this blue line which is the 20 monthly EMA so we never know what's going to happen you know it either spike up above 4,000 because that's where I think Amazon going to go long term above 4,000 a share short term wise to earning who knows right I mean look at Facebook it tanked 20% look at PayPal it tanked 20% <laughs> and these are pretty much solid company so yeah I'll be definitely going to watch this price around the 25 ultimately to 2000 Sally for me is I cannot sell put for Amazon yeah because it's just too expensive you know sell put for Amazon that's like 200k price lock up I don't want to lock up 200k especially just for one contract so it kind of sucks and again I don't have 100 shares of Amazon but I do have quite significant shares almost 100 shares but not, not quite 100 shares it's just to show you how big I'm in Amazon again I said Amazon is my number one position in my uh, and all of my portfolio combined. All right, so that's a little update. What the market is doing? It's pretty brutal out there, but uh, hang in there. If you are in a good company, you should be fine. See you guys in the next video.